good day and welcome to this tutorial class all right so for this tutorial class we'll be looking into the conversion of two dimensional drawing into three dimensional drawing so before we proceed my name remains Oluwatunbi blessing or Lalekon, the founder of michael tech all right so considering the problem on the screen we'll be drawing it on an increased scale yeah an increased scale of what to ratio one so what does that implies that implies that every dimension seen on the screen will be what will be multiplied by two okay will be multiplied by two all right so uh the very first thing i'm going to do right here is to produce a thin horizontal line in this order okay so after that i'm going to uh, produce a vertical line to that right here like this okay and after that sitting right here with my 30 degree set square i'm going to what, draw my isometric scale right here in that order okay then i'm also going to tilt it this way and also what draw my isometric plane in this order also so what is the next procedure looking at the front elevation of that object the front elevation is actually sitting at the bottom so that problem on the screen is given in first angle sorry in third angle orthographic projection okay it is in third angle all right so we have the uh, plan at the top and the front view underneath okay so 4.76 by times 2 is what 9.52 9.52 centimeter so if we are going to convert that to millimeter that is what 95.2 so i'm going to approximate it which is what 95 uh millimeters and we are told that we make point a as our what as our lowest point that implies that picking my ruler standing right here okay i measure mark of what 95 mark of 95 on my ruler which is this mark of 95 right there okay so the next procedure is i'm having a mark of what height on that front elevation okay i'm having an height of what 0 0.76 okay 0 0.76 so converting times two times two that is what 1.52 that is 1.52 centimeter converting that to millimeters that is what that is 15.2 millimeters so with my ruler standing on this vertical plane then approximating it that is going to be what mark of 15 picking this mark of 15 right here in this order okay so at the top there i'm having a mark of 1.76 mark of 1.76 times 2 that would be uh that will be 3.52 centimeters converting that to millimeters that is what 35.2 millimeters so i'm going to pick my ruler approximating it that will be mark of 35. so picking my ruler sitting at this same center a medium mark of what 35 which is this right there which is this right there then from the top also i'm going to measure mark of 15 from this area yeah take note of that from this area right here okay mark of 15 downward again which is this okay can you see that so each of those planes i'm going to project them on my isometric plane okay so on this axis i'm projecting this first mark like this okay and this second mark like this and this third mark right here like this okay so not forgetting that i have uh this mark here which is mark of uh, 95 okay i'm going to project this vertically like this as you can see on the screen so facing this direction also i'm going to actually project this bottom part here so this bottom part here i'm going to project this what like this ensure you draw them faintly first of all draw them faintly all right so now what is the next procedure so the total span of our object from here to here we have 2.20 centimeter on the screen multiplied by two that is going to be what 4.40 so combined to millimeters that is going to be what 44 millimeters that is going to be what 44 millimeters so picking my ruler i pick the mark of 44 mm which is this okay from this junction 44 mm this is mark of 44 mm right here so i'm going to project that vertically first of all okay i'm projecting that vertically like this so that is it right there okay after doing that i'm going to uh, project this way also using my 30 by 60 degree set square this faintly to this axis also okay as you can see it over there so then what is the next procedure right now the next procedure right here is 
uh, looking at our front view, okay, we have a mark of what 1.0 centimeter times two. That is what 2.0 centimeter then two millimeters. That is what 20 millimeters. So with my ruler, I pick a mark of 20 mm, which is this. Yeah, this is the mark of 20 mm right here. I want a mark. So on this mark of 20 mm, I'm going to project it vertically. Okay, faintly first, faintly. Okay. I've projected it vertically faintly like that as you can see on the screen so what's the next thing i'm going to do the next procedure i'm going to actually apply here is this so uh at this junction here yeah this very junction here isometrically okay with my 30 degree set i'm going to draw this like this faintly like that do you see that okay after drawing that in that order so the next step is this the next step is this on this axis okay half of 2.2 .2 is what 1.1 okay 1.1 1.1 uh, uh, times 2 that's the 2.2 .2. so that's 22 millimeters so picking my ruler from this edge i made 22 mm which is this this 22 millimeters right there okay on this mark of 22 mm also i'm going to actually project my line Okay, upwards like this. Please just follow me. Okay, upward like that, 22 mm like that. After doing that, I'm going to pick my set square, 30, 60 degree. Okay, I'm going to actually. Uh, okay, I'm coming. I'm coming. Yeah, I'm going to project this faintly from that junction right there to the back like this. Okay, do you see that? Okay, from that junction to the back. Then. Right here, I project this also to the top like this. Okay, so faintly, yeah, the whole of this to the back like this. Okay, do you see that? Then faintly, don't draw with thick line first. Okay, draw with thin line first from this junction right here. Okay, like this. All right. So after doing that, after doing that, so as it is now. I'm going to erase some parts that I don't actually need here, okay? Okay, I've erased the part I don't actually need here. So just follow me as I proceed. Follow me as I proceed. So right at this junction here, okay? I'm going to what? Draw this. I can take in this one sample like this. Okay. Take in that right there. Right. So after doing that, I'm going to what? Keep my set square and T square, okay? I'm going to draw this downward faintly like that in that order first of all okay then i don't actually need this elongated part here so i'm going to erase slightly first of all okay then i'm going okay. to actually all right so i'm going to actually keep my set square okay 30 60 degree set square from this area down to that junction okay so let me start tracing it out okay so i'm going to pull this downward like this okay pull this down towards this area like this all right and pull this together to this like this all right so take note of what's actually going on right there okay okay so i'm going to pick my set square okay right from uh these junctions here okay so from this marker i pull this backwards like this then from this junction i pull this backwards like this okay yeah, having boots in that order, I'm going to what, link this down here, first of all. Okay, I'm going to pull this right here, like this. Okay, you see that? So this is going to come here, like that, all right? Then, the whole of this is going to come here, right here, like this, okay? And this is going to come all the way down here, like this. I'm thickening it now and you see so it's coming up now so i'm going to thicken this part thicken this part thicken this part and thicken this part right here okay so what's next i'm going to thicken this area also like this as you can see okay i'm going to thicken this area also like this going to come right here and taking this like this okay going to take in this like this going to take in uh this like 
this okay so i'm going to do this right here like this all right i'm going to thicken this also like this all right so we are almost there we are almost there okay yeah we are almost there so the next procedure is to actually show the hollow aspect that is on the inside there okay so uh, i'm having a mark of 2.24 there so multiplying down by two i'm going to be having uh 4.48 4.48 converting to millimeter that's going to be 44.8 millimeters okay and if we are going to actually look at it uh from this edge here, from this edge here, okay it is at the mark of uh 15. So picking my ruler from this area, I pick mark of 15 first of all. So this mark of 15 right there, I'm going to project it faintly, which is this. Faintly, which is this. Okay, yeah. So so I won't be confused. Let's erase all of these ones on the inside here. Okay, let's erase them out. Okay, yeah. So from this edge now, from this mark right here, so 2.24 that is going to be uh 4.4 that's 44.8 so with my ruler i measure from this i measure 44.8 which is this 44.8 which is this so that's the mark of 44.8 right there okay that's the mark of 44.8 right there i'm coming okay 44.8 i'm going to approximate it that is going to be mark of what 45 so from this junction right here, I pick a mark of 45, which is this. Okay, mark of 45, which is this. I'm going to what? Project that also isometrically like this, faintly, first of all. So I have this one, okay, right here. All right, so, and it is situated at the center here. It's situated at the center. So that is mark of 20. So 20 minus 44, that is what's 22. So from this area, I made a mark of what? 11. So this mark of 11 right here. So after the mark of 11, I measure mark of what? 20, which is this, this mark of 20 there. And I'm going to what? Draw it out right about now. So picking my 30, 60 degree set square, aligning it to this junction here, I'm going to what? Draw this. I'm going to make it thick once and for all, okay? So then from here also, I'm what? Drawing this, making it thick once and for all, all right? So then I'm going to what? Thicken this right here like this. And I'm going to take in this right here like this. Okay, so next thing is I'm going to actually uh pick my set square. Okay, so right here from that junction, I'm going to what pull this downward like this. So that is the solution to the problem on the screen right there. Let me just erase this slight part off. Okay. So that is the solution to the problem on the screen right there. Kindly make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and also refer this video to your friends who might be in need of it. Thank you. So to add your dimension, I'm going to actually do that offline and I'm going to actually see how it's going to look like. All right. Okay, so that is the dimension on your object in isometric form. Take note, we converted all those dimensions to millimeters as you can see on the screen right there. Thank you.